Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry. And as you can see behind me, I'm at the Federal Reserve Bank of Kansas City in Denver, Colorado. <laughs> so what I'm going to do in this video is go in and show you what they have here, a thing called the Money Museum. So I'm going to show you what's there, and then I'm going to go about a mile away to the Denver Mint and take a tour of the Mint and show you some video from there. So this video is going to be all about the money. So come on in, let's take a look. But first, I want to show you something I found right outside the Federal Reserve Bank. If you're waiting for a bus or someone to pick you up, just grab a chair. <laughs> These are a couple of chair trees, but they are actually bolted to the barn there. So, you just have to stand around and wait. Okay, so let's go into the Money Museum. Billion dollar experience. We'll see about that. Guess whose face is on the $100,000 bill? And guess what? They are giving away free money. If you can put it back together. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, that's it. So, there's some old so notes. That guy should be over there, and that guy should be over there. It should have been Ellie. Uh, 10, 50, 100, 1,000, 10,000, and my favorite, 100,000. $30 million stacked up here. I wonder how thick this glass is. Looks like they're all hundreds. No, look what I can make. That certainly is very well stacked. A strong economy, monetary policy. That's what it claims. <laughs> and the Federal Reserve and you. This is why it works, although many say it doesn't. <laughs> I think the $20 bill is very inflated. They've got some examples here of misprint mistakes. Can you find what's wrong? I think it's interesting, it used to say national currency secured by United States bonds deposited with the treasury of United States of America. Well, not so much anymore. I guess that's why they quit putting it on there. Folks, I was hoping for a lot more to see, but this is it, just this one room. Well, let's go on to the Mint and see if that's a little more exciting. Well, folks, I've got some bad news and some worse news. The bad news is all tours are full today. The worst news is in order to get in on a tour, you have to turn your cameras off. 
so that doesn't do me any good <laughs> I have turned the mint many years ago so the best I can do today is to take a quick look around the gift shop they've got some inflated money and some deflated money playing cards <laughs> Now this is actually a postcard. So you can send somebody a hundred dollars in the mail. Number two, this machine has 13 robots. This is the first station right here. It is our insert station. This robot right here is going to pick off each insert one at a time. It's going to inspect it in front of a camera. What that camera is looking for, it's looking for debris, making sure that insert is uh, orientated correctly and also looking for color. The next robot down the line actually will place the coins from the infeed belts and place it on another belt for the next robot, which is pick and place robots. We have six pick and place robots, and basically what those robots do is they place that coin orientated correctly into the inside. So after the pick and place robots, um, we have a flipper station. Basically, it flips the insert into a plastic lens. And then the next robot will actually place the top lens on top. And then we have a machine that actually squares up that lens, press seals uh, the lens set, and then it gets put into our trolley, which holds 600 lenses. If you're a big fan of the mint, <laughs> they've got lots of souvenirs for you. You want a dime bracelet for $80? There you go, folks. This is where you come to get it. And for the guys, a quarter money clip for 70 bucks. And you can buy ten dollars for eighteen hundred and thirty dollars. I could use a new baseball cap, but not for twenty three dollars and made in China. <laughs> well, that's about it, folks. Sorry, I couldn't show you more. Good day.